Hello children, welcome to a brand new lesson on reading with Auntie Mal's English Corner. Today we are going to learn about vowel letters and their sounds. This is very important if you are beginning to read. Let's take a look at vowel letters and their sounds now. Remember, sounds are different to letters. Sounds are not the same as their letters. In English, sounds are different to their letters. Letters come from the alphabet. If you sing the alphabet, you'll know your letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. However, the sounds come from pictures and I'll show you these pictures real soon. Sounds are important when we try to read. When we are reading, sounds are important. Letters are not so important when we are reading. So remember the sounds if you want to read. Let's look at the vowel letters and their sounds now. The letter is A from the alphabet A. How do we find the sound? Look at the picture. Apple, apple. What's the first sound? A, A, apple, A, A, P, A. So the letter is A and the sound is A. So the corresponding sound for the letter A is A. Let's look at the letter E now. The letter comes from the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, E. But the sound that we use for reading comes from the picture. What is this picture of? It's of an egg. Egg. What's the starting sound? Egg. 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 Starting sound is E. Then the letter is E. And its corresponding sound is A. Vowel letter E, sound A. Now the letter I. I comes from the alphabet. But when we are reading, we need to remember this picture. Ink pot. Ink pot. What's the starting sound? E. 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 Ink pot. E. E. So what's the letter? I. What's its sound? E. So the letter I corresponds with the sound E. I think you've got the hang of it. Let's see. Good work. This is the easiest letter and sound there is. Letter O. Sound. What's that? O. That's right. O for orange. So letter O, sound O. Last vowel letter is U. U. We took U from the alphabet. But the sound comes from the picture of the umbrella. Umbrella. A, 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 umbrella. A, sound is A. Letter is U. Sound is A. Ah. Very good. Let's do it one more time. But remember, sounds are always used for reading. Always. Letter A, sound A. A for apple. Let's read a word now. K, A, T. A comes from apple. Remember, a comes from apple. A, k, a, t, cat. Now the letter E. Remember the sound? A, 
A for egg. Very good. Let's read a word. What's this sound now? It's not the letter we are reading it with. It's the sound we are reading with. What's the sound for this letter? It's A. A. So let's read the word now. B A G. B A G. Beg. B A G. Beg. Good. Let's try this. Letter I. Sound. E. E. E for ink pot. Let's read with the sound of the letter I. What's the sound here? E, like ink pot. E. Let's read the word. H -e -s. H -e -s. His. His. Now the easy one. The letter O and the sound O. O for orange. The letter is O and the sound itself is O too. N O D. N O D. Nod. Nod. The last letter and the sound is, remember? U, letter U with the sound A. Ah. A. Ah. A ah, for umbrella. So here you get the A ah sound from the umbrella, remember? A ah sound. Y, A, ah, M. Mm. Y, A, ah, M. Mm. Yum. Yum. Did you enjoy that? Hope you did. I'll see you real soon. Now practice your bubble letters and sounds and be ready for more videos with Auntie Mal's English Corner. All right? Bye.